my potions. I'll help. Freaky foliage is no match for my earth magic. You still get credit for trying, Farron. It's like this whole forest is trying to stop us from getting to my sister. Probably true. The Goblin King has twisted it to his will. Poor Sophie. I can't believe he has her locked up in his fortress. Not helping? It's all my fault. If I hadn't left Sophie alone, she never would have been captured. Aw, don't worry, Emily. I know we'll get her back. Yeah! Together we're tougher than anything this forest can throw at us! That Goblin King better get used to disappointment, cause soon he won't have Sophie or the amulet! Once I get that human girl's amulet, I will be able to open my magic portal. And then I will rule not only Elvendale, but all of Earth itself! <laughs> blah, blah, blah! It never turns out the way you think, dude! My sister's giving you her amulet. She's brave. Bossy, but brave. Enough of your impudence! Ah! Goblins, take this creature to the village. I can't stand the sound of her any longer. Quickly and quietly. You never know who could be lurking nearby. Rosalind's right. I once thought I was having a private conversation with this squirrel. No, turns out a whole bunch of birds were eavesdropping the whole time. Sometimes, I don't know how you leave your treehouse every day, Farron. Wait till those goblins see we snuck in. Oh, should we yell, surprise? Uh, let's just think it to ourselves. <gasps> Look. Okay, ready everyone? Let's go get my sister! Huh? Huh. There's nobody here. Oh, you huh? silly girl! <laughs> I'd recommend you give up while you still can. Never! Give me my sister! I'd be happy to, in exchange for your amulet. No, it's mine. Then I'll destroy you and take it! Where is Sophie? We demand to see her, Cronin. Do you? Well, I sent her to the Goblin Village, where I'm sure they're taking excellent care of her.